Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we are gonna go into our siege battle. We're up against Illuminate and VRK Gangster. Two very strong guilds in Asia server. Illuminate at rank 3. They haven't lost yet and VRK Gangster is at rank 5. We are currently at number 12 as well. So taking a look at Illuminate's defense. Yeah, I think we've seen this one previously. So it's the Isabel, Cichlid and the Kinky. Over here, definitely their Kiki Tower, and then on their Tower 10, mainly involving with Sylvia's and the Dark Macaroon Guard, from what I remember. <laughs> and on VRK side, Miang, Cichlid, Asher, slash Kinky. Alright. Hmm. Don't know why they only placed 4 Kinkies. Should have been 5. I think they have the capabilities for that. And definitely for their other two towers, it's just pure LDs from what we are seeing here. Yeah, Sean, JY, and Silvana. We are able to start our first fight of the day up against this Isabel Cichlid and the Kinky. So I think running the tractor Windy Lulu kind of makes sense. We just need to pray that our Lulu don't get resetted armor broken. <laughs> two out of three chance to aim the other two. All right. There we go. Perfect. Now we want to finish off the Isabel first because her damage is quite high. Nice stun. Alright. We are gonna put up the two turns immunity this time and try to slow down this Isabel. However, the shield and the additional turn means that next turn this Cichlid does have the third skill again. Hmm. I hope our Lulu don't die though. Yo, don't aim Lulu, man. Fuck, the armor break. Oh, we have to kill this. Oh, nice stun. I'll take that. <laughs> wow, look at the damage. Yo, Jesus Christ, this Cichlid two turns every time? Can we break the shield? Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. We heal up with the second skill. Yeah, big heals. We finish off the main threat, alright? Now, this point in time is a little bit tricky because Kinky does have the counter damage every single time. Probably work on to the Cichlid halfway through we shift our focus towards the Kinky. We make sure that she places the shield on herself first. I think that's the plan. Okay, big damage done already. Half life onto that Mermaid. Now we'll try to slowly work on to this Kinky. Good stun. <laughs> because they don't have any heals as well. So whatever poke damage that we do, it's definitely gonna be hurting them as well. Come on. We need more violent procs from our tractor. The destroy is actually quite annoying though. Yo, our Lulu might die though. Oh, no proc. Good stun. I'll take that. Okay, come on, come on. Do we have the heal next turn? <sighs> Needed that violent proc? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's no way, right? This kinky solos us. I don't see that happening. Goes down and now just press the auto button. We are Gucci boys. Seems like it's one of those days where we have to fight a lot of net 4 defense. We are gonna be bringing in the Triana Royd and the Raccoonie this time. Yeah, I'll just have it on destroy crit rate build. I don't think Royd needs crit damage, honestly speaking, because with crit rate also, he does pretty decent amount of damage. So we got armor broken here. But with this armor break onto win unit, Miyang won't follow up usually. So she will still be attacking the Raccoonie and we are gonna be working onto her first. So as you can see here, the damage output is still okay. Look at that. The Miang already almost dying. <laughs> then later on, it's 3v1 against the Kinky. That one, I am not sure who wins. Hopefully we can land the attack debuff onto that unit. So we got the sleep off onto the mermaid, but I don't care. We are just gonna be focusing onto her first. 7.3k on an armor broken unit. So Roy's damage is also still good. Uh, maybe you can run it on a speed crit, crit rate. Speed HP HP build with crit rate substats. 
along those kind of lines. You have to make sure that it's also a little bit tanky because this Kinky, if he violent procs a lot. Oh my god, wait! Wow! Yo, it's not over yet though. <laughs> oh shit, we have to cleanse this armor break. Hey, not cool, man. Imagine we lose 3v1. It could happen. This Kinky hits quite hard. The HP on it isn't that much though. Oh, good sleep, good sleep. Yo, I wanted the Kinky to move. However, not gonna be happening. So now we got the armor break. Alright, can we kill with the Triana? Oh, 5k damage. <laughs> That's enough. We have to fight the Isabel Kinky and Cichlid once again. So I'm just double checking the artifacts. Over here for the Malite, we are gonna go with damage reduction from Dark. So let's just place that on the Dombic Malite Lulu. Once again, I think it's gonna be a situation where if Lulu resists the Cichlid's third skill, or if she doesn't aim my Lulu, I think we are fine, alright? So Kinky gets two turns right off the bat, and we are gonna place the Melody of Resentment. What we want to kill first is the Isabel. So Endless Death, 13,000 without Armor Break. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, thankfully we got three Provokes here. Mm -hmm. So this means that my Melite should have the Provoke skill again. The Isabel already Half-Life. We have to remove her ASAP. Thankfully, triple resistance for our Dongbik. Continue with the controls. Let's go. We don't really need to use any skills from our Lulu just yet. Alright. Okay, Isabel kills herself. Come on. Can we land the Provoke once again? Okay, we'll go for the immunity this time. Nice, nice. Good controls. <laughs> I'm liking this. This team is okay. Yeah, although a little bit RNG, if they violent proc a lot, then I guess we could potentially die. But now it's a situation where it's the Kinky left once again. Malite's damage is definitely gonna be sufficient. The passive damage is quite high. So I think Kinky kills himself. Yep, there we go. I love to fight all this kind of defense. This means that we are able to bring in the Belial Camilla team. For the third slot, there's a few things that you can run. Riley, Windy, anything that doesn't really get armor broken so easily. And also very tanky as well, should do the trick. So the only tricky part here is where the Camilla gets the increased cooldown time. Because she can normal attack probably a 20% chance or something like that. Maybe even lesser. Oh my god, she actually got it. What? I need my Belial to move before he dies, you know? <laughs> okay, thankfully we got the turn. Yep, good job. Good job, Kakano. I needed Kakano to finish off the Belial here. So now, when our Belial revive, we have the second skill to finish off the Celia. It's gonna be very important. So our Camilla got frozen up. Not too cool. We are waiting for our Belial. Madness Judgment. 66,000. Goodbye, Celia. And there's nothing the opponent can do now. But Bel Belial already did his job. I think Kakano dies. And then we got Destroy Runes onto the Camilla and Windy. We are just gonna press the auto because this will take quite some time. We're finally able to fight a Kiki defense. This one is together with Mi Yang and Liu Mei. So rather interesting. We are gonna run a full win lineup. So the plan here is to try to kill off the Miang first. I don't want to deal with her Blade Fan. Potentially like Kiki Armor Break into that nuke. It's gonna be a lot of damage output. Riley for the heals, attack buff for Dinah and Leo. Potentially cleanse as well, but the cleanse is gonna be a little bit potato against Kiki, right? Because she's gonna be putting so much debuffs. With this glancing, I don't dare to even transform. Okay, can we cleanse the glancing? Alright. Hmm. Glancing again, bro. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I think we go for the risk. Risky play here. No risk involved. We actually crit everything. So let's go. One last hit onto the Miang, and she's dead. 
All right, perfect. Now the question here is whether my Leo can sustain. We'll work on to the Liu Mei. Oh, that was quite scary. <laughs> no stun. Oh, the beneficial block is so annoying. So our Leo is not getting buffs. And we are taking so much damage. Yeah, I have to go for this. We finish off the Liu Mei here. Let's pray we can stun. No stun. Kinda need to do this. 25% chance to cleanse the heal block. <laughs> oh god. Hey, wait. Our Leo can torrent, right? I think so. Because he's gonna be moving. Okay, Torin. How's the damage? 36,000. We're gonna be fighting Sean's defense, the Clara Savannah, and Julian. I feel like my Josephine should be tanky enough to soak up the armor break by the Savannah and the Julian's nuke, right? Huh? The Clara's slower than my Perna, though. It had wheel runes. I don't understand. <laughs> Is that Clara not ruin up? It had will though. Hmm, I'm baffled, but we shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> I I don't understand. Maybe he stole a few runes from that Clara, I guess. So this one a rather easy win then. Yeah, a single Julian. Hits only 2.3k onto our Josephine. We can soak that damage all night long and we are able to move on to the next match. We're gonna be using this lineup against the Kakano, Celia, and Nigong. Not really sure what to do, but double water dark makes sense. <laughs> Who knows, man? I think the Nigong is gonna be a pain in the ass. But he does the Heaven's Protection. Okay, so if my Praha can get the strip, later on. We'll try to kill off the Kakano first, alright? So let's just go for the triple crush, and we can go for the strip as well. Despair stun only landing onto the Nigong, however additional turn again. Yo! Wait, everything just violent? Wow! Bullshit man, every time like this? Wow, did oh my god, he gets the crit! Yo, Dia's passive non-existent, is it? Come on, man. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, we lost. We're gonna be bringing in our second thing in together with Valajo and Alia this time, the Holy Trinity, up against this Sylvia, Liu Mei, and Kinky. So the plan here is to try to kill off the Liu Mei first because she's gonna be so annoying. It's on despair, so we don't have to be afraid of her violent proccing. Okay, perfect. We landed armor break and we can go for the nuke. That's right. Okay. We have to go for the sanctuary soon though. Are you serious? <sighs> Valadro actually died. Hey, but this kinky is so squishy. <laughs> uh, no complaints. Wow. I didn't expect the kinky to die so easily. Okay. Hmm, this guy running a full damage build, Kinky, I'm guessing because you're running Sylvia, this kind of defense, you want to bring down something really quick. Having HP doesn't really make sense as well because you're gonna be moving first, so good job to Fingyan. I don't really have any other counters towards this kind of lineup, so we are gonna be bringing in the Dongbik, Lulu, and My Light once again, so this will be our second set. Earlier seems rather smooth. However, this time he goes for the reset onto Lulu. Holy shit! Hey, we cannot lose Lulu, man. We can heal up. Oh my god. No provoke onto the two important units. Okay, we can put the immunity up again. Hey, aim other units, man. Please. Shit, I think Lulu dies. We don't have heals now. <laughs> now we are on a timer, alright? Can we kill the opponent before we die? 
I have no idea, but we'll try. Malite, Malite, I need you to provoke. Very important. Okay, we got it onto three. That should be the way. Okay, resist the armor break. This shield is gonna be so annoying. 7.8k onto our dumb big. Oh my god. Come on, provoke one more time. Is it enough? Oh, Isabel still alive. Come on, go down, go down. We can provoke again. 2v1. Everything very low on his side. Can we kill the kinky? <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. We're down to our last and final sword, and we are gonna be bringing in this lineup against the Sylvia, Manon, and Iris. I think here the plan is try to kill off the Iris first. Because Manon won't be aiming our Dominic and Riley, right? Unless the Sylvia pairs it together. Holy shit, our Dominic took quite a lot of damage though. <laughs> oh man. Yes, yes, I'ma break the arena. Thank you very much. We heal up now. Yes, yes, continue aiming it. We are gonna go for the attack buff this time. Can we one-shot this Iris? Oh, so close. We needed one violent proc. Man. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't stun me, man. Yo. The stun rate so high? <laughs> oh, God. I think our Dominic might die. I need the armor break on Tarina, man. Yo, 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 yo. Not cool, not cool. Don't aim Dominic, please. Please. Huh. We got no skills. Oh my god. Come on, life steal a little bit more. That's not enough. <laughs> Sylvia, aim Rina. Aim Rina, okay. There we go. Uh, we got no choice but to normal attack here to heal up our Dominic a little bit more. I think we work on to the Manon instead. Yeah? So just 6.2k on the last hit. So tanky. Okay, okay. Immunity up. Attack buff. I need my Dominic to move once, alright? Actually, two more times. Yo, I'm gonna break now on Dominic. Yo! Even the Manon hits him. Triple stun. <laughs> no way, man. No way. Ah, damn it. We actually lost. It wins two losses at the end. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 342 crystals followed by 969 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So we got first place followed by VRK at second, Illuminate just falling behind a little bit at third place. Okay, let's open up the rubbish box here. One out of three chance to get a shiny. Come on. Yo, we got it. Come on. LD score. Just 15 pieces, 100 crystals, 1 mystical scroll. Not too bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. And that's about it for today, guys. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.